Can you see that rain's getting a little harder, honey? Looks like no fishing for Jenny today. Hey guys, good morning. It is, uh, well, it's Friday. We've made it to another weekend, but it is raining. It's been raining in Arkansas for, gosh, I don't know, a couple of days. Storm's not that bad. The only thing that I worry about is the folks out in uh, northern and western Arkansas, and fairly soon central as well. Um, Little Rock is, is in jeopardy. All these rivers, y'all, all these rivers. I mean, they're just, they can't take any more water. We are in the shop this morning. It is, uh, oh gosh, about 8.30 in the morning, Central Standard Time. And we've got a few pieces to show you. I wanted to do a couple of things though, a little bit differently. I want you guys to take a look at this. Um, and there's a lot of you guys that are on my channel that may not be on some other folks' channels. And I'm kind of spreading the love, spreading the word. My buddy, Pete Carter in San Diego, California, him and Gerald Novick make these mold casts, these resin casts, um, for completely unique baits. Now these are these are mice, rodents, rats, and they are painted exquisitely. Cool eyes, um, got some exposed bone. They've got a prop in the back. Uh, this is the jitter, the jitter rodent, and just some awesome top water stuff that's coming out of San Diego. If you guys don't know Pete, you can find him over at Reckless Rodents. Don't mind my eggs and cheesy grits. That's, uh, that's breakfast this morning. But uh, there he is. Go find Reckless Rodents on Facebook. Go look up Wicked Pete Dog. Um, I will link his channel in the description below. Really good angler, father, husband. Um, cool guy. Super, super cool guy. So you guys need to be paying attention to stuff like this. If you guys are topwater freaks and you want some truly custom, these aren't blanks, these are individually casted. Um, he makes them himself. And uh, I, I don't think Gerald Novick has a channel as of yet, but those that they're like uh, brothers from different mothers. Some of my favorite anglers and they're good friends. So I just wanted to spread the love because that's what we try and do. Um, this, is, this is not, it can be a really greedy business, but uh, my end of stuff, it's all about giving and sharing and teaching. And, and this is, I just want to take a couple of minutes um, to show off somebody's really awesome work. Uh, check him out. Check out Pete Carter and Reckless Rodents on Facebook. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out at Wicked Pete Dog on, on uh, YouTube. And I'll link all that stuff below for you guys. But this, I mean, this is bad to the bone. And they catch monster fish. And he's a Cali guy, so you know uh, he's making the right stuff for the right bass. So check him out. I make smaller mice. But I love, love, love these wake baits. These are my rat runners. They're on my website. You can check them out today. Um, but I also do custom work as well. I'll change the colors up. Hey, if there's stuff that you want that you don't see, or there's a different pattern, some kind of different thing uh, you want me to paint for you, I sure will be happy to do it. Uh, it's not just the stuff. And there's almost 100 patterns on the website at JekyllBaits.com, but it's not all about that. So I do a lot of custom stuff. I do Johnny Rats. I do... Uh, buca shads, buca bowls. So this is the uh, this is the rat runner, a little pink on the belly, and that customized fur. Good, good, good pattern. Got another one here. I'll show you guys. Oh, and check out this is the fight childhood cancer. Um, I know you guys maybe were hoping to see the finished product on that uh, glide bait that I did in trout, but that is that ship's already sailed. I wanted to get that out to Wyatt as quickly as I could. So uh, hopefully he's, it's supposed to be a surprise. He might not be watching this just yet. Um, this will be out later on today, but Wyatt, you got a special package buddy coming 
and uh, congratulations on your on your last chemo yesterday. We're all so proud of you. But that is coming. It's a glide bait, looks like this one, but it's got your trout on it. So this is just a darker variation on the top a little bit. I love how that fur comes out on these. I mean, you just this, these are bad to the bone, and the finished product you have a, a five-inch rat tail on the back end of these, and they swim very, very well. I also am going to be testing this albino rat in a shallow running, and I I'm going to do a couple of different things. Obviously, it'll it'll swim very well as a 2.5 unto itself with just two hooks on it, but I'm going to be testing some other stuff as well and seeing if we can't turn this thing into a swimming rat. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the possibilities on that. I do love it. I also saw that Pete yesterday, because uh, I, I put this on and like, hmm, I wonder. And then uh, I think Pete's wondering the same thing. So we're, uh, we're going to, we're going to see what we can do with these things. Now he's obviously, he's doing his own casts and resins and all that good stuff. But I think that maybe this little knucklehead We'll see. We'll see. Lots of possibilities. It is breeding crappie time all over the United States and probably anywhere where there's crappie. So this is that breeding crappie. This order is for James Carini. Now this is... Well, it's got a little thing on it. We'll get that off. There we go. Um, this is that uh, hot coal looks like one of those charcoal briquettes that you set on fire and it's smoldering. And then I've got a different version here. Looks like it's been on fire a little bit longer. These are cool in that dinger party crank. That wide lip square bill. Y'all know what this is, right? Yeah, of course you do. A very good replica. Swims, weighted, just the same. This is that wintergreen. You can find this in the 62 line on my website. This is that wintergreen sunfish. And this is one of my most popular. It's a little pricier because there's so much more hand detail. And that's one thing about, uh, and I've seen this little meme pretty much everywhere I go now anymore. You can't get away from it. But what you're paying for custom work, for good custom work, is somebody's blood, sweat, and tears. It's it's a pattern, yep, but it's all done by hand. A machine didn't do this. Uh, nobody stood in a line and sprayed a million of these. These are done one at a time. Uh, all the custom work that you're gonna find on, doesn't matter if it's my channel or somebody else's channel, they've put a lot of effort and a lot of work into that. So make sure that you recognize that. Um, and, and value is a lot different than if you're buying some $5 bait at the bass store. So we've put a lot of work and time and effort and thought and labor into these patterns to make sure you guys get something that fish are gonna go after. So I'm a huge proponent of small business. This is the same thing on a lipless. Got that good fade and color. It's all hand painted. The, the base layers are sprayed. I believe it's a um, shoot. I want to say it's a bright yellow, transparent, some red violet, and that black magenta to get this fade going down. A couple other tricks and bells and whistles on it. One of my fave patterns. I love that. This little guy. This little guy is an eastern bluebird. And um, I've been working on the, the bluebirds because especially, you know, some of the Delta states and some of the Western Delta states like the Cali Delta, um, around the Mississippi, around these deltas, you get a lot of, I don't want to say marshland, but kind of marshland where there's bass just kind of hanging out waiting for things to fall. And they are opportunistic feeders and I can promise you that bass have eaten bluebirds numerous times just like they've eaten red winged blackbirds and sparrows and everything else that falls in the water so this is an eastern bluebird lots of feathering feathers on the underside and then 
we put a beak on it. And I haven't seen, I, and I could be wrong because there's so much out there, there's so much good custom workout, but I've never seen anybody do this with the lip. I've seen crawfish arms on it, but never the bird lips. So I may, and if I'm wrong, correct me and show me what's in existence and, and chronologically date that for me, but show me where somebody else has done this. Um, and, and again, I would love to see it, and I will certainly give credit where credit's due, but I haven't seen anybody else do it quite like this. I sprayed the bottom and the top, and um, so when you get it just right in the, in the light, you can see, let's see if I can even do that. Yeah, it looks like the, the bird is opening its bill. You can kind of see that there because there's that separation with the uh, with the lip right there. So that's pretty cool. Okay. What else do we have to show you guys? Not a whole bunch else, but I did make another one of these. Um, this is that shadow bass. And I get so many people that call this thing a rock bass. And it is in the same family as rock bass, but it, it, it's its own strain. Look it up. You can Wikipedia it. Um, there's a lot of different, a lot of different things that uh, that are out there that look like rock bass, but it's its own strain. It's a Missouri Ozark strain. It's called a shadow bass, and I'm just digging these glide baits. And then, last but not least, uh, I've got a special order for a special person, and it's one of six pieces that's going to be put in a, a, a box in a shadow box. So. Um, we're not going to talk a whole bunch about that, but this is one of those pieces that I'm working on. I'm waiting on some numbers, uh, stencils, so I can give him his number. But, hey, cool. Love doing it. If you guys want custom work, holler. That's all the news that's fit to print today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic rest of your weekend. I hope you guys get out there if it's not raining on you. And uh, if it is... Hey, there, there's always spraying to be done. So you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to look up my buddy Pete at Wicked Pete Dog on YouTube. I'll link all his stuff in the description below, all his references. Um, he's got a .com. I want to say it's RecklessRodents.com. I think that's up and running. And congratulations, Pete Carter. I'm very, very proud of you for being in business for yourself. Finally, you've wanted to do it for so long, for so long. So this is a shout out to my buddy Pete Carter absolutely go check them out go check them out these are bad to the bone i'll see you on the water happy casting